What's going on, everybody? Uh, we're live oh, at Origin I... PC Studios. How's it going? My name is Kuzi. That's at Kuzi L on Twitter and Twitch. I'm here with Origin PC CEO, Mr. Kevin Washaleski, and the man, the myth, the legend, Major Nelson. I am I am blessed to be in your presence. You guys are legendary. I bow Thank down. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Glasses you, off. Thank you. And as always, our builder, Builder Jimmy. I don't think What's they can up, see Jimmy. Jimmy. No, they can see me. There he is. There There's he Jimmy. Is. What's Jimmy. going on, guys? Thank you so much for coming out tonight. We're going to be putting together a system for Major Nelson today. Oh, I'm so excited. I am so excited to, to work dark with side. you guys. So excited to work with you guys at Origin PC. You guys, you guys make amazing, amazing systems, and I, I'm out of my mind right now. Everyone is super jealous of what we're doing. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thank awesome. you. That's exciting to hear. All right, let's go ahead and uh, shout out the specs real quick. I'm going to put the specs in chat for you guys so you guys can check it out. Yeah, let's bring them up here. Yeah. So we're going to be putting together an Origin PC Millennium custom painted, as you can see, with a nice Major Nelson etching on the window panel. I don't know if you can see it on your end yet, Larry. Uh, not yet, but I know what it looks like, and oh, it looks yeah. delicious. It off, it's beautiful. It off, What's up? Should I pick up the panel, show it off? Or? Yeah, show it off a little bit. Why not? Um, so the motherboard's going to be an E. A big shout-out to EVGA for hooking us up with the motherboard. EVGA yes. X99 FTW, and also the EVGA 1000 watt G2 PSU power supply. That, sh that should be nice and future proof for you, so if you want to yeah. add cards down the line. I need some headroom. <laughs> there you go. You're going to be fine with that. Goodies, the goodies. Yep. Uh, we got the Intel 5960X. Big thanks to Intel for that. 5960X is, of course, their 8-core processor. The beast of a processor, so you can do all things like game, uh, render videos, stream, all at the same time. It's fantastic. Now, now if I remember correctly, because uh, you were saying this is actually one of your favorite uh, favorite uh, CPUs, right? Yes, definitely. Oh, yeah, definitely. Cool. I'm, I'm really yeah. big into streaming and doing video rendering and stuff. And yeah. this, is the, this is the perfect CPU, in my opinion, to do all of that at the same time. So you don't have to it just happens, slow anything yeah. down. It just happens to be the very best CPU right now. Yeah, it really is. The most powerful CPU. Um, let's not take away from the fact that this this beast is going to have an NVIDIA GTX Titan X, 12 gigabytes of VRAM, one of the X. most beautiful cards. X. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that thing. I, lo I love the way this card looks too. That uh, all black, so good. beautiful black card. So, so pretty. good. So pretty. So we got 16 gigabytes Corsair LPX 2400 megahertz. I know you wanted to put uh, more RAM down the line, and you will have the chance yeah, to do so room. with that. You always want more, right? Always want more. Can never yep. have too much, I'd say. We always make sure the builds are upgradable, because you always want to upgrade. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Um, we have the Origin Frostbite Liquid Cooled 360. That's so I know I like. you're going to be putting some some stress on this bad boy. You're gonna yeah, want and that's to I want to talk about that for a second because sure. uh, we were talking this before. Is you know when I started working on when I started uh, specking out the PC I want, I was like you know I, a lot of obviously everyone here at Microsoft they're all Xbox gamers, PC gamers, they're all gamers. And you know here at Microsoft, I was telling some of my coworkers about you know I want to build one with with liquid cooling, and and they were all like they, their eyes went like really wide like <laughs> you don't want to do it what? yourself and <laughs> get somebody to build it because there's there's just the, the the road is littered with uh, many many a roasted component that have not weathered well. So the fact you guys are doing it and we have the experts doing it, I'm thrilled. Thank you. That's very true. It's really it's tough to do it. Um, luckily with this, it's not it's not so hard with a, a sealed liquid cooling system. But there are issues that can come up uh, with any build all the times. And what you do, in my opinion, from going with a, a PC builder, is you just get security for it. You know, you right. don't. The peace of mind is what you're paying for, which is great. I love it. Um, so for your OS drive, we got a one terabyte Samsung 850 Evo SSD, blazingly fast. Yes, thank you, Samsung. All your wonderful games. Thank one you, terabyte Samsung. SSD. Wow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, Put all your games on. There. <laughs> you can be, yeah, exactly. And just in case you don't have space, we got a backup two terabyte Western uh, Western Digital Caviar Black. That'll be that'll go in your hot swap bay, which we'll show off a little bit later in the build. Yep. We also got a forty in one media reader. Yep. Which is great. We got a Asus CD 40 and one. DVD is there really combo. Forty formats now. Yeah, at least. 
I think. Yeah, you use priority maybe two or three of them. <laughs> right, and exactly. for... But you have 37 more just in case. Uh, for the OS, we have uh, Microsoft Windows 10. Have you ever heard of that before? I don't even... Windows 10, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> I heard it's, it's pretty good. pretty awesome. <laughs> the Windows guys are super excited about it. I was talking to um, Terry Meyerson, who runs the Windows business, about this, and he was like, this is great, this is great. So I got to send him a link to this later. Oh, awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're going to have it. Uh, it's going to be... On VOD here on Twitch, and then we're going to upload it to our YouTube later, so yep. we'll shoot you all yep. those links after. We've all upgraded to Windows 10, and we're loving it. Oh, I love Windows 10. I was, I'm yep. so, I was so excited about it from the get-go. Super and fast and those guys, are, those guys are doing a great job with it over there. Um, uh, the Windows team, of course, we're working real closely with them on the Xbox team, because you have the Xbox app, and there's all this cool stuff you can do with that, and we can talk about that later if you want. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yes. All right, Jimmy, you're good to go, man. All right. Get those good panels good. off. Let's get building. Guys, feel free to ask any questions in chat. Uh, make sure to tag at Origin PC so it pops up nice and red for me, and I get to see what's going on. Yep, and I'm watching a little. I've got the chat open here as well. Um, Master Chief and I right here. We're watching the chat. Master Chief. Uh, I'm sitting here. I'm actually just so you guys know. I'm sitting here at the Microsoft headquarters uh, right outside Seattle, Washington. Uh, it's a little quiet around the office because it's right before the holidays, so I'm going to hang out with you guys before I run to my next meeting, but I wanted to join up and thank you on behalf of everyone here at Microsoft Next Box. Thank you. It's great working with you guys. Awesome. We're really excited to work with you as well. Uh, one big question I wanted to ask you, because it's something that we all saw on Twitter as soon as we started promoting this, like, what? Like, he's with Xbox. Why is he PC gaming? Yeah. But you've actually been PC gaming for a very long time, right? I absolutely have been PC gaming. In fact, um, I think Kevin may be the only one that you will understand this. Is I One of my first PC games was, ironically, Flight Simulator. Oh, yeah. When it, when it was on the green screen, okay? Do you remember the 80-column green screen that IBM PC had? And you had to kind of visualize in your head what you were doing. So, I, you know, that's that's one part of gaming. I've been involved with it for a very long time. But to your point about Xbox and PC gaming, you know, a lot of people, even though I worked on the Xbox business, um, next month it'll be 15 years that I've been here at Microsoft. Wow. Yeah, tell me about it. Um, it's, it's, you know, Xbox and PC gaming are hand in hand. They're like a hand in the glove. Even though that a lot out, out on the internet, everyone's like, "Oh, there's console gamers and PC gamers." Really, inside, it's it's we see it a very similar. I mean, they're they're both very different, but they're very similar, and we like to treat them. Um, they're equal. They're brother and sister. Um, so I console P I console game absolutely. I PC game absolutely. I'm a gamer just like a lot of people. Are. What's yeah, a, totally. what's your favorite PC game? If you don't mind me asking. Ah, oh, wow. You know, I don't really. Uh... <laughs> Time to play favorites. Yeah. I, I can't say yet because I'm working. I'm, I'm testing one right now that hasn't been announced yet. Oh, oh! So a new thing. I know that's totally a little unfair. bit of a cop out. Yeah, that's, that's totally unfair. It's a, it's a little bit of a cop out, but um, but yeah. So I mean, I I've, I mean, I'll go into my uh, my library. I got my Steam library, of course. Um, it, it's really hard to say. It depends what kind of mood I'm in, right? Mm -hmm. um, yep. It, I mean, I, I was playing. Uh, I was playing a bunch of games when I was down at BlizzCon. I was playing. You know, a lot of people I know are Blizzard. A lot of people I used to work with here at Xbox are at Blizzard. And it was great to be down there and walk around and, and play some of their some of their games as well. So I mean, I've, I've been a Blizzard fan for a long time as well. Sweet. Yeah. What are we playing now? What are you playing right now? And I'll I'll go next. Uh, what am I playing right now? I'm playing Fallout 4. Of course, I still yep. I can't get enough of the game. It's so yeah, amazing. Yeah, it's funny, guys. I'm, I'm I finished that on console after a bazillion hours. I'm like, well, maybe with this new PC, I need to test to see how it looks, right? Yep. <laughs> so I may be doing that. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I think that's that's the one game I'm just I'm going nonstop. There's a an MMO that I'm trying out that's in beta right now called Black Desert Online, which is a lot of fun. I don't know if you've seen the oh, character creation, no, I which seen is that one. really intense. That's a that's a blast. Oh, that's sorry. basically all. Get I mean. your Battlefront on, right? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. nonstop. Have you guys uh, Have you guys seen the movies? Is this Is this a spoiler free cast? Uh, we've seen the we've movie. Seen I don't know if movies, everyone has checked. So we can't speak for everyone else. <laughs> yep. Uh, I loved it. Let's Saw it the second time. The second time it was even better. I'm yeah, like, wow. I've already seen it twice. I didn't think it was you know gonna what? get better. It got better. I need to go see it a second time. But yeah, yeah. so it's, I, I want. I really want to see what Battlefront's gonna look like on this rig because I, oh, I hear man. It's just. Yeah, you're gonna be blown away. It's beautiful. We have Battlefront nights once a week at the office. It's really That's fun. what I like to hear. Yep, it's exciting. So I've been playing Fallout Four, and then I took a break from Fallout Four to play Just Cause Three. Played the heck okay. out of that. Uh, finished that and loved every minute of it. Went back to Fallout Four, and uh, I'm also playing Devilian. Uh, it's an MMO that's sort of like Diablo ish, mm -hmm. uh, but it's an MMO universe. It's really really fun. There's, there's too many games. Yeah, I'm, it's funny you say that just cause, Kevin, because it's funny. I finished Fallout 4, 
and I was like, "This is great." I got to the end of the end of the um, the main story list, and I like couldn't get into to just cause fast enough. I needed something that was just stupid, mindless fun, which is exactly like, right? exactly. Um, so I, I kind of was like, let me get in there, and it's a great palate cleanser, and I've been running around just, I mean, I'm like, yeah, story, this woman keeps talking to me. <laughs> yeah, right. No, 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 I'm going to go blow stuff up, leave me alone. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. Have to, you don't have to worry about inventory, you don't have to worry about mm -hmm. so making any decisions. Jump on for 20, blow, 20 blow, minutes, blow, blow, just blow, blow, blow a bunch of stuff blow. up. Unlimited C4, <coughs> blow it up. <Yes. laughs> Bing. <laughs> All right, so, um, so yeah, so that's, that's, I'm just looking at the chat right now, what's, what's going on here, it's, uh. A lot, of, a lot of folks joining us. I tweeted this out as well. Thank you guys for joining us here. I know yeah. a lot of you guys are probably getting ready for Christmas, right? Oh, really excited about Christmas. Yep, getting ready Christmas? for Christmas and um, CES. <laughs> yes, big consumer electronics show in Las Vegas. I'm sure you guys are going to have some cool stuff to talk about then, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we're going to have a couple announcements. Three announcements, one launch. So uh, tons of meetings coming up. Koozie's going to be there with me. Uh, a couple other people as well. Yeah, we're going to be jam-packed, so... It's crazy. There's no break. You think there'd be like a break at the end of the year? There's no break. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's it's it's gonna be great. But anyway, let's let's start let's start getting in here and start building some stuff. Yeah. Jimmy's uh, getting prepared right now. Looks. What, what are you doing at this point, Jimmy? So right now I'm just prepping the system. I'm getting the 40 in one installed in uh, expansion bay so that it could fit inside the system. All right. So what we do normally um, when we first start things off is get everything in the expansion bays, like the 40 in one, the optical drive, uh, the the OS drive and then get the hot swap in with your, your backup hard drive. That's right. just to get all that stuff out of the way since it's right at the front of the system. Right, right, of course. We should check. Can everybody hear Jimmy? It's kind of hard to hear him, I think. Yeah, I have the mic set up. It'll like turn good. around a little bit. Hello. Yeah, Jimmy, when you talk, maybe just turn your head. And yell. <laughs> <laughs> and yell at us. Someone asked, what was it? What did he ask here? Which Windows 10 is best, professional, or is it better? I think um, it really depends on what you're using it for, am I right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it really does. I mean, you know, there's at the office we use Enterprise, which has a whole series of things that the average home user or gamer doesn't really need. Um, so it really depends what you're looking for. I mean, at the base, the core is essentially exactly the same. It's just whether, whether or not you want to have some of these remote management options and things like that. If you're going to be on the road, you want to remote it to your PC. All right, let's see what else we got here. Yeah, a bunch of questions there. Will there be a big O for the Xbox One? No plans. No plans as of yet. I don't know. Oh, if did that question would come up? Yeah. Did you ever? Did he, does Larry know about that? I don't big know. O? Do you know about a big O, Larry? I do not. Oh wow. Let's all just take a break and talk about a little story. <laughs> so a few years ago, um, CPU Magazine called us up and they said, we're running a competition of the ultimate gaming machine. We want you to build the craziest gaming PC. Uh, money's not an object. We're going to run these uh, 15 benchmarks. Do whatever you want. Whoever has the craziest ultimate build is going to win the, the roundup. Right. So we got together and said, man, what can we do? I mean, obviously we're going to do liquid cooling. We're going to do... Dual Xeons, at the time you could do dual Xeons overclocked, so we overclocked dual Xeons, we overclocked the, uh, sorry, we liquid cooled the motherboard, we had four GPUs, but we're like, what else can we do? So then we decided, let's take apart a 360. I liquid, do remember this. Yes. I do remember this. <laughs> I do remember this. Yep. Let's liquid cool a three, Xbox 360 on the, on the other side of the PC. Yep. So you have the PC motherboard here and the like, Xbox here, unmodified, just liquid cooled, but ran everything perfect. All in one big box called the Big O. And we hooked it up running Madden and running, uh, you know, PC game at the same time with triple projectors. Sent it into the competition. We won 13 out of the 15 benchmarks. Blew away everybody, and they said, "You guys won the competition, <laughs> hands down." We're never doing this competition again. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, then the next year we set another big O. We won again. And the third year they said, "We're not doing the competition anymore." <laughs> like it's done. Uncle, you guys we're won. done. Uncle. Yeah. They, uh, they need our signatures on that. Oh, what is this? I think uh, one of our. Customers' uh, crates. Oh, okay. It might actually be for for Will Boot Up Gaming. I believe this is Boot Up's laptop. One of our one of our streamers ordered a laptop from us, so we're signing his case for him. This is shipping out right now. Sorry about that. So we gotta sign it, ship it out. Doing business here, guys. <laughs> while we're streaming, doing business. Multitasking. There you go. Cool. So what were we saying before the big O? Oh, uh, that was it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Pop that. We're done. Show's over. <laughs> um, let's see. Well, a question I wanted to ask you. Did you ever imagine when you first started at Xbox 
Xbox and Xbox Live just taking off as much as it has? Um, I'll tell you, when I joined... Apparently the lights just went <laughs> off. <laughs> Hold on a minute, they, they go off on a timer. Ah, uh, that's what it is. There we go. Um, so to answer your question, um, I, I kind of, when I joined the Xbox team, we were a really small team. And in fact, you could probably fit the original team around this conference room, which holds about 20 people. Wow. And I remember joining the team and just we were at that point, we we're young and hungry and we were just passionate about about console gaming and console gaming in general. And we just wanted to build the best thing we could do that we could play. And if you build something great for yourself, we're like, maybe other people would want it. Yeah. You know, a classic example is when you look back and you realize that the original Xbox, the big black box, yep. that had a network port in the back that we put in originally that we had to plan for two plus years in advance before the service even came online. So that was wow. that's the kind of stuff that we were planning on and we were looking at towards the future because at that point, if you guys remember, modems were still, you know, dial-up modems were still a thing. We're like, no, no, broadband's going to be big and people were like, no, no, what? What are you talking about? And sure <laughs> enough, it just took off. So it was one of those things where everything just kind of fired at the same place and I remember being on the team and all of a sudden we were 40 people, we're 80 people, we're 100 people, we're 1,000 people. What happened? And I remember with Xbox wow. Live where we were excited because, hey, we just had 1,000 people connected at once. Hey, we just had 2,000. Hey, we just had 5,000. <laughs> hey, we just had 10,000, 100,000, a million, 2 million. And the number kept going Jeez. up, and it was just one of those things where we knew it was going to be big, but we didn't think it was going to be this big, <laughs> right? It's huge. That's awesome. <laughs> That must have been really exciting. Well, yeah, for amazing to see something grow, something that you made that you have fun doing, and then yeah. it grows and everybody has fun with it. Yeah, that's what it's really about. I mean, you guys know better than anybody. I love the the, the gaming community is so incredibly smart and they're so incredibly passionate. Yep. I, I, I love. I mean, you guys kind of the same way. Where you know we do this because we love it. And oh, by the way, we it's a job too. Oh, okay, we'll get paid. <laughs> you know, it's just it's yep. a lot of fun, right? <coughs> yeah, totally. Really fun. Yeah, we that, build we build machines that we would love to see ourselves. It happens every day when I go out to manufacturing. I'm like, man, that computer's beautiful. I'm jealous <laughs> of that computer. It's somebody right. bought it. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's it's a lot of fun. So I mean, it's it's it has been great. Xbox has been great um, from for you know over the years, and I'm just thrilled to be part of the team. That's, I I just I wanted to just talk about Master Chief here for a second, who I have in the back. Like, a little one. A little one back there. Let me let me show you how big this guy is. Hold on. Hold you can't on. really yeah. tell. Watch this, guys. It's this a crazy. little chief back there. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> it's huge. Boom! <laughs> yeah, that blew us away during setup. We're like, whoa, that's way bigger funny, than we thought. The funny story I have about this Master Chief is that that is a, a Halo 2 statue that we did for um, for some retail locations. And the funny thing about this is, here's a little bit of history for you. We had to make two versions of the statue. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't know if you can tell, but he's got his dual SMGs up. Yeah. And some of the retailers thought that was too much. So there's actually two versions. We did SMGs up and SMGs down. So that it wasn't all in your face. So right. Oh, wow. decided based on where they were, if they wanted to have a real in-your-face Master Chief or kind of a chill Master Chief. So we just happened to have the guns up here. The in-your-face one? Yeah, you go guns It's a good up. choice. Yeah. yeah. I, thought, I thought you were going to say no guns at all, just his hands. Hey, guys. <laughs> two thumbs up. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Um, Alright, where are we going here? Uh, I want to say hi to Evil Merc. Evil Merc chatted a couple times saying hello. How you doing, What's up, Evil Merc? Hey, we had a so somebody asked a question in the chat about backwards compatibility sites for Xbox One. Guys, I have an FAQ up there. If we haven't announced it, I can't confirm it when a title is coming or even if it's coming or even a date. So that's all I can say. Okay. Let's get that out of the way. Yeah, yeah. let's get, skip over that one. Uh, someone was asking if this PC is going to go in your office at Microsoft or if it's going home with you. You know, I think it's probably going to start at the office and then it's going to go. It's probably going to go back and forth. I live a few miles away, so maybe I'll come back in another month and say, "Jesus, this is great, guys. We got to build another one." <laughs> okay. Right? Gotcha. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but I want. I'm actually probably going to start out um, at the office, but I really want to get it at home so I can do a lot of streaming from home. Um, and as you said earlier. The, the rig that you guys have designed is really, it should have no problem streaming and, and playing great games. Oh, no. Yep. It's going to be great. Yeah, leave it at the office for at least a little bit so people can walk by and be like, what? Uh, look at, what is oh, that? Oh, one of those. <laughs> <laughs> who do I call? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure Phil, I'm going to have <laughs> Phil Spencer, who is uh, the head of uh, oh, yeah. Xbox, is up about two floors. His office is a few floors above me, so oh, yes. I'm sure I'm, 
I'm going to make sure I kind of, oh, Phil, do you, do you want to come by and see this? <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I can't wait till he takes a look at that. I sent you a DM on your personal Twitch. I'll check that out later after the stream rant. Evil Merc, yes, we'll be in the office next week. You're going to send us some stuff. Thank you so much. Did Koozie sign the CPU I won? We haven't gotten him yet, Rex, but as soon as it gets in here, I will, bud. Yeah, by the way, you guys are going to sign this thing before you send it over, right? Sure, if you want us to. Oh, sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. We'll awesome. sign out of the inside, the inside panel of the door for you. Probably yep. the best bet. Sweet. Um, so I want to ask you about one of the biggest things with Windows 10 and Xbox Live now is cross-compatibility. Yep. I know uh, Fable Legends is one of the big ones I'm really yep. excited about. I can't wait to give that one a go. Yep. Um, is there any more that you can talk about yet? or? Well, Fable Legends is, is the one we're, we're focused on, and what the teams are doing is they're looking at kind of the best way to do the cross-compat play. I mean, because one of the things you run into is you guys, well, it's with the lights all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> in the dark. Good. Apparently I'm not moving enough in here. Yeah, it's um, but one of the one of the challenges with crossplay is making sure that it's it's balanced gameplay for each of the parties. So the console gamers and the controller, and PC gamers with the mouse keyboard or the controller, that they're kind of on equal footing. So I know that the 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 Lionhead team has done a lot of work looking at that, and going how do we make sure that it's fair and equitable for both sides. So I, we're really watching that closely because we want to take a look at what they're doing. Of course, we did this a long time ago with, uh, with one of the earlier games, but now now that that the Windows 10 is a gaming is a huge part of Windows 10, we want to make sure that we're going to do it in the right way. It's easy just to take a couple of games and slap them together, do cross cross platform play, but it's really hard to do it right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you don't want to just put something out there. So I appreciate right. when people take their time and say. We're going to polish this and make sure it's ready for everyone to really have fun with. Right, exactly, exactly. That's that's what we want to do. So it's it's. Um, uh, I'm I'm excited about the Fable uh, Fable um, uh, beta as well. Me too. I've gotten to see it a lot at the uh, at the shows at at the trade shows, and it's been great. It looks amazing. I love. I've played every Fable that's come out. I don't have an Xbox One yet. What? <coughs> but once I do. <coughs> what? I'm going to be getting waiting for hard. It? Uh, give me time, okay? Halo Five is awesome. <laughs> Halo Five is yeah, awesome. I know. I'm a big yeah. Halo fan, so that's one of my Yeah, Halo 5, those guys, 343's done a great job with Halo, so I'll be playing a lot of that this holiday. Looking it looks beautiful. When you see it, you're like, wow, this is a console game? It's amazing. <laughs> um, another thing I want to get into, the technology between the Xbox, the Xbox 360, the Xbox One, huge leaps. Are you as blown away as we are by just the technology advancement in console and PC gaming? Yeah, I'll tell you. You know, you guys will probably understand this as well. And for the for the for the viewers and the people in the chat that don't think about it like this, is that you have to remember um, that, especially in the hardware space, there's usually about a 12 to 18 month lead time between the time they start. You know, the, between they start maybe building things and they show up in the marketplace, or they design them and show up. So when we when I think about all the technology that happens, it's not. It's you know, software. I love software, and software is much easier. You can kind of like change some code and, and recompile it and deploy it to the web immediately in, in moments, whereas hardware is a much more longer life cycle. For instance, um, and I don't have one with me, uh, but the Xbox Elite controller, which is, if you guys had a chance to get your hands on that, is an yep. unbelievable controller. Works on console, works on PC. Uh, the teams, the team, when I, when I got in to see that, it was over a year and a half ago. Where they were showing me prototypes, so it's interesting to see how things have changed over that time. Um, it's been in development for a long time, so I just get excited. It's it's hard for me because I get so excited about that, and then I got to keep my mouth shut. Yeah. For like a year, a year and a half, and you can't say anything. Yep. Uh, and then you're like, and then you, then I'm sure Kevin, you've been into this as well. It's like, wait, did we announce that? Oh yeah, yeah we did announce that. Yes. I can talk about that. <laughs> so, yep. Uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm constantly blown away about the evolution and how things have, have been going, especially. The team that sits in the next building for me, who worked on backwards compatibility for Xbox 360 games to Xbox One, um, it's 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 an extraordinary feat of engineering that they've done there. Where do you see the industry going in another five years? Wow, um, you know, we always get worried about. I'm sure you guys do as well. Is like, what's going to happen with mobile games, mm -hmm. right? And mobile games are great. Mobile games are still going to be huge, but that's a very different category, right? Um, the categories are very different for the mobile games. So it's it's that's one thing we look at. I'm like, okay, mobile games are just going to be a big. But I know that there's always going to be an area uh, for high def gaming, mm -hmm. and that's kind of what consoles and PCs are. You know, we're going to see the technology increasing, the hard drive, the storage is going to get better, 
the uh, the frame rates are going to get. You know, could the frame rates get even better? By the way, somebody just handed me the. Uh, oh, nice! Oh, beautiful. Oh, beauty, man. I was talking about it. Oh, that's so pretty looking. <laughs> I love this. You have one of these, right? Should we send you one of these? We don't have one. We would love one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll have to fix that. We'll have to fix that. Thank you. Oh, thank you. That'd be uh, awesome. So yeah, it's it's it's. I, we're we're talking about where the technology is going and and whatnot. It's it's it's. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just complete. I got completely sidetracked by my it's okay. controller. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Wait, Origin PC Koozie doesn't have an Xbox One. I'm sorry. Do not stone me. I'll yes. get one. <laughs> it's Christmas. Who knows? It's Christmas, right? Yes. We got, we got deals going on right now. <laughs> yeah, you do. No, but to your point of uh, mobile gaming and. Console gaming and everything, yeah, I mean, I've been doing gaming PCs for a long time, longer than I even want to count, and it's, I don't know how many times it's come up where like, oh wow, man, this thing is coming and PC gaming is going to suffer, or yeah. this thing is coming and PC gaming is going to suffer, or this thing and this thing, oh, mobile gaming, now everything, everybody's like, mobile gaming is blowing up, it's going to take over, no, it's not going to take over, there's going to be mobile gaming, yep. and there's going to be console gaming, and there's going to be PC gaming, they're going to live stuff. next to each other. Right. Yeah, exactly. Gamers are going to want to do everything. I play on my phone. Yeah. I and play it's just, on my it's Xbox. Big, it's big for gaming in general. I play on I my mean, PC. I play on everything. Just well, ga it's gaming's going up. You know. Yeah. It's I mean, I tell you what's interesting is since you know since I started in the industry many years ago, and Kevin, you sort of seen this. Even just in the past few years, what we're doing right here. I mean, who would have Kevin? Yeah, when you were growing up, who would have <laughs> thought that somebody would be interested in seeing us build a PC? Right. <laughs> it's amazing. Like, right. There's people tuning in from around the world right now, and we're doing it live. Yep. So it's it's amazing how the technology, all this technology, the Twitch and the streaming and all these other elements, this interactivity, are really just just wrapping around this core nut of gaming. Because at the end of the day, games games are about having fun and having immersive experiences. So mm -hmm. that's always got to be there in the center. It's all this other cool stuff that, that kind of kind of orbits that Earth. Yep, it's all about the experience, exactly. Yep. yep. And how amazing is it that you can not only everyone started streaming PC games first, but now you can stream your console games. Yeah, yeah, we're that's a great thing. I mean, you know, the, the, the right now when we announced or when we have the new Xbox One experience, which is the new universe, u, u, user interface on Xbox One, that actually uses um, the core, a core stripped down version of Windows 10 in the center. Yep. So it takes out all the stuff you don't need. You know, I don't need printer drivers on a console and all this other stuff. <laughs> um, but it really just it's the it's the it's the meat of the operating system. This core. And the team has, uh, has, you know, redesigned the system so that in the future, there, you're going to see some really, really cool stuff. And again, you're going to see the gap between console and Windows 10 get closer and closer. You're kind of seeing that now with the Xbox app and stream your games from one to the other, and the light's gone out again. And <laughs> it, we're going to continue to see that because it's uh, it's the direction that the company, that Satya and the company is going in right now. It's amazing. I, I like the lights out. It's like kind of sets the mood. <laughs> it sets the mood. <laughs> no, no, I'll keep it's easy. Apparently, yeah. the sensor's way over there. So, yeah. anyway, we'll keep it that way. It works. Uh, you were talking about that new feature for Xbox Live. Is there anything more you'd like to discuss about it? Uh, I'll just say this: is you know, we we had probably one of the greatest holidays this season in terms of the games lineup. Because the, you know, we talked about Halo. We've got Tomb Raider, Fallout, Battlefront. I mean, it's it's embarrassing to me, um, but. I, I have to go back. I forgot how awesome The Witcher is, right? Oh, yeah, I know. I know. And I need to go back. I just yes. got Skellige like, you know, three months ago. And I, yes. I, 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 you know what happened, Kevin? Maybe this, you remember, you guys remember this is it shipped, I believe, in the middle of May. Mm -hmm. Yep. And all of a sudden, at that point, we are deep in the throes of getting ready for E3 in June. Yep, exactly. So I got completely distracted with E3, and then all of a sudden E3 shows up. And then I got to go to Germany for Gamescom, which yep. is massive. So it's all these other things. Then all of a sudden we're into the releases in September and October. So now I'm in December going, I, I got to get back to The Witcher because I owe it to myself. Oh, yeah, you yeah. got to get back there. It's so I have, I'm, I'm in the same great. boat. I have to finish so that good. game. And I didn't it finish was, it myself. It's one of my. It was, it was awesome when it came out. I was so, I was so wrapped into it. I was yeah. really immersed. The world itself was beautiful. Um, it, it it felt a lot different than the other Witcher games, which is great because yeah. I, yeah. I love I love how this one played. Without any spoilers, I could say for those who have played it, I got to the lighthouse scene and I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no but it's, it's so anyway. So that's you know I, I, I need to go back and play those, but I'm looking forward next year. We've got. A, a, a fantastic lineup um, coming next year. Of course, we, you've seen some of the Crackdown demos that we've done. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. big fan of that series. Where the yeah, who isn't? Where yep. the cloud, where we've got cloud, the cloud basically powering a lot of the destruction. 
So there's a lot of that um, happening. So there's there's some really good games that are uh, are coming in 2016, but it's hard to think about because my 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 stack of shame is so high. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, when Witcher 3 got Game of the Year, a lot of people were like, what? Witcher 3 Game of the Year, but Fallout is so good. I'm like, do you remember how good Witcher was? I mean, yeah, come on, it was really, really good. Yeah, a lot of, you're right, Kevin, a lot of people, <laughs> you know, kind of had short-term memories, and yeah. it's whatever's in, whatever's in there, yep. you know, they're, start, they're recently played right now in their MRU, yeah. but no, it's, you go back and play The Witcher, and you're like, this is some unbelievable gaming. This is yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. I was thinking, like, it would be a tie. With Fallout 4, Witcher 3, tie Game of the Year. I'd be happy with yeah. that. Yeah, look, we, should, we look. It's an embarrassment of riches at the end of the day. These are either one. It's a it's a coin toss. Some 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 folks are gonna like Fallout. I certainly did. Some folks are gonna like Witcher, which I certainly love. But either way, you can't go wrong. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so talk about the old school again. Right. In the old school days, there was like one big game, and everybody played that one big game, and that's it. And then well, not only that, three, we, four we, months we later, also... there'd, be, there'd be one other big game, and that's it. But now there's so many big games that it's like. Uh, you go in the office and like this person's playing that, this person's playing this, this person's playing that. And they're all good games. I miss the days where everybody in the office was playing the same game and we could all talk about it. Yeah, it's um, it's it's funny because you you look at that, Kevin. You're right. Not only that, but again, we were talking about the technology earlier with Twitch and all these other things that are coming into our life. But I, I remember when I was growing up and really getting early, early. This is how early I got into PC gaming, you know. And it's gonna date myself because it's it's easy. But Zork, we all remember. Zork. Oh yeah, I played Zork. And, and I remember going down to the corner computer store, which was really nerdy, yep. uh, in Connecticut where I was growing up. And you'd have to remember it was in a plastic bag. Remember they yep. sell them plastic bags? And you know, you'd go home, and we didn't, you didn't have any internet to go to to go look up how to play this. You had to figure it out. And maybe a magazine yeah. would have something in maybe, it. Maybe, yep. Maybe who knows? But you had, to, you kind of had to figure it out. And at the end of the day, it, all it was was a blinking cursor on the screen. Where am I? What am I doing? You had to figure it out. You didn't get spoon fed anything back back in the day. Back yep. in the day. Back in my day. Back in I my used to have to draw my own maps, which is true. I, I remember. I remember. Maps remember paper. manuals. Like the games came with PC manuals. Some of them had maps of the in-game world in them. Yep. That's how you had to get around. Well, not of that. Do you remember that. that a lot of the a lot of the Infocom games, which are the was Zork and and so forth. They actually for their copy per copy protection, they included things in the. Uh, I think they called them fizzables. Well, they included things in the box where, like, the game would ask you, "Hey, what is the phone number in the back of the matchbook?" <laughs> yeah. You had to oh, go yeah. find it and type it in. That was their. That was yeah, their that's right. Copyright protection. Yeah, I remember. Right? Uh, oh my gosh, that's hilarious. One of the one of the first games that I played was Day of the De- Day of the Tentacle, which was a Lucas Arts game, and it had one of those one right. of those things in it where you have to flip to page thirty four and what's the last right. line in the sentence? It's like yeah. right. crap. <laughs> Now it's all on the internet. It's all there. So, uh, such. But anyway, it's it's amazing. To me, it's amazing how far the industry has become to the point of, you know, I have a lot of very good friends that work in L.A. and Hollywood, and you know, the the, the what a lot of people consider the mainstream, the old school electronic uh, entertainment media. But but get, let's be clear. What we're doing here is eclipsing that in terms of revenue, in terms of excitement. It's 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 like I've never seen before. See, uh, totally. currently building my own gaming PC, but undecided on getting an i5 or i7 processor. Also, love the new preview game Ark on the Xbox One. Having a blast with it. That was really yeah. cool. That was really exciting. You guys got Ark. Ark is we've an worked, awesome. Yeah, game. we've worked with the Ark guys for a long time too. Yeah. Is it, so if you haven't played Ark, you guys need to check it out yeah. because you can't, I think you guys will appreciate this. It's it's a completely different kind of gaming experience because you're excited when you get pants. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. You're like, I got pants, I got pants, <laughs> and it's it's you know it takes you it takes you a while, but it do it. It's it's a lot of fun, and I'm gonna I'm gonna hop back into that. I'm looking forward to seeing what it does in the PC. Um, buying my first Origin PC in two months. Can Kuziel and Origin PC CEO sign the cover of my Evo? Of course, we'd be sure. We'd love to. Thanks, Tyler. How is that now an it? option in the build? You can check it to have it autographed. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> we it's, might have to it's add happened that, yeah. more and more. That's the now. development team. <laughs> yeah, it's happened more and more now. How much would it approximately cost me if I wanted a good gaming PC for League and World of Warcraft, running Ultra without lag? Uh, it really depends. It depends what on, resolution? Yeah, depend, that depends on the resolution. That's a very important thing. Yeah. Let's give Jimmy some some time here to talk about what he's doing. He's yeah, kind of where just you over at, there Jimmy? doing his thing. <laughs> yeah. So, as you guys can tell, if you've been checking it out, um, I've got the I have the board in the system, the processor, and the RAM is all set up. So. Looks pretty. Now I'm just setting up the uh, 
the front panel I.O. So our four USB 3.0s, our, uh, our fan controller, our power switches and reset buttons and all that. And then after that, we'll get into starting to wire the system. Cool, so you got the motherboard in there and I saw you have some wires on the back, starting to do some cable management on the back side there. Yeah. That looks good. So oh, wait, good. Wait till you see the cable management. That's one thing we're so proud of here. Yeah, he's kind of just flying through it, but the cable management, it, it takes some time to learn and then perfect. Uh, a question, what exactly makes your pro versions different from your normal versions? All I get is a pro is for 3D modeling, but I want a better understanding. You want to feel that? Sure. Our, I mean, all of our PCs are, are really the same product. Everything we sell is a custom PC, custom built for what you need. So our pro line has a little bit different options on the configurator. It has like uh, Xeon processors, uh, some different graphics cards. Also, the tests that we run in the back, we run um, some standard tests, but then we run some specialized tests. Um, I think it's Spec Pro. Mm -hmm. Something like Spec Pro is a test that we run on the Quadro cards. Um, so we'll run a little bit different testing and offer you a little bit different hardware. But at the end of the day, you're right when you're thinking, wow, the Pro and the gaming systems are kind of the same thing. It is. It's just a custom-built PC. And all of the PCs come with our, with our same 24-7 lifetime support. Uh, never played Arc. My PC is too weak. It has a 512 megabyte video card. Well, you can play it on your Xbox One. Yeah, you can. That's an option now. Yeah, so you're in the. Pre it's one of the first games that's going to preview, and when it ships <coughs> next year, then uh, obviously when you when you buy into it, you get the full version. But yeah, it's available. Go check it out. Get pants. Get pants. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag get pants. <laughs> How long did it take for marketing to email customer back about sponsorships? Uh, give us some time on that. Uh, that email gets flooded, but I promise I'll get back to you. Not sure how to write this question, but why is it when a AAA title game is released for both PC and console, the PC version suffers and we have to wait for a patch? That's that's not that's not true for all games. No. Um, yeah, there's some some games have the issue, and everybody talks about that one game with the issue, but most games are really really yeah, are smooth. For example, Fallout. Fallout was great on both yeah. console and PC. I felt. Um, and Assassin's well, Creed, and there's Assassin's always Assassin's Creed. Yeah. and there's always a, there's always a charming one or two Bethesda bugs like hey there's a dog yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. the dog's running through the door I love this <laughs> I'm glad that they didn't fix those bugs there's some things that are just hilarious but uh, Assassin's Creed last year they had some issues but this year it's awesome and nobody talks about it everybody wanted to talk about last year how it was uh, so many problems this year their game on PC was beautiful no problems it, uh, gorgeous and nobody's talking about it so let's awesome give them PC some credit port, awesome console it's awesome. Yeah, Ubisoft did it really. They knocked it out of the park with that one. Yep. Welcome back, Crucian, one of our streamers back in the house. Thank you for your service, sir. Much yes, sir. Welcome back, Crucian. Thank you for your service, indeed. Anyone know how much this build would cost? I believe the MSRP of this build is... Uh, I might have emailed you about it. I think it's 5500 if I'm not mistaken, around there. Yeah, I think it's, yep. I think it's about 5500 All I know is I looked at it and I said, this is more than the, my very first car. <laughs> Sounds about right. That's where you should yeah. be, right? <laughs> uh, it looks beautiful. And yeah, once really you once you see it fully built with the, the the LED lights on it, I don't know if you know this about our PCs, but it comes with a multicolored LED remote, yes. and it has a whole uh, a variety of colors, and you can switch to whatever color you want. You can set it to strobe. You can set it to rotate through the colors slowly, kind of flash in and out of the colors. It's really cool. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a full home automation system at my house, so I'm gonna figure out how to integrate it so that you know I can, when I wake up in the morning, it can greet me with morning. <laughs> oh, nice. What what do you think the first game you're gonna play on this one is? Um, you know, I, I'm thinking I wanted to, what's a I want you know I've got a brand new 4K monitor in my home office, so I'm gonna I want to find something that's gonna just shine on that thing. So, I would go with I'm, Battlefront. You were talking about it earlier. Yeah, yeah that's, that's kind of what I said because yep. I was thinking about it. Just the look of it, the look of Battlefront, the just the whole thing about it. You know, it's it's Star Wars, right? Yeah. So, the oh, sounds, the sounds is what really caught me right yeah. at the beginning because I'm such I've a Star a, Wars I've fan. I've got too. a seven one system in that oh, room. You're gonna love it. Swap it into. So I'm just gonna. <coughs> I'll, I'll talk to you guys in the spring. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> now I'm dying to play Battlefront myself. I know. <laughs> The integrated soundboard, is it real tech or what is it? Uh, for the EVGA board, do you know, Jimmy? I think it is real tech. I believe it's real tech. Yeah, it should be real tech. Battlefront with the realistic mod. I don't know if that's out yet. Hashtag free Jimmy. <laughs> he is free. Jimmy was free for a second there. He went out to get something. 
Nice draft we give him small again. breaks. He's got to. So there's this, uh, when we had the previous builds, we have, you know, the anti-static wristband when you're building, you have to wear yep. it. A lot of people had no idea what that was when we were doing the earlier builds, and we had our other builder, PJ. And they're like, well, you guys keep him chained to that desk and just building PCs all day? <laughs> so they started that hashtag free PJ nonstop, which is Yeah, scary. it's uh, those, those are the days, right? You need to know. He's got to be careful. Static electricity. It's the silent killer. <laughs> it still it still happens. Luckily, still there, down yep. here in Florida, it's it's so humid and... It's the complete opposite of, of dry down here, so we, we well, rarely have that and issue. It, and it's we, we rarely have the that issue in Seattle because it's pretty rainy out here. Yeah, it so. is. Seattle's beautiful. Yeah. We went there for, what was it, Prime? Pax Prime, yeah, every year we're there. I fell in love yeah. with that city. Yeah, that's right, Kevin. We saw each other very briefly this year. Yep. Because we were, I was running between, I think I was at the Intel booth and I was running the NVIDIA booth or something. I was all over the place. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're busy at those shows. I see you. Yeah, those room. shows are crazy. I'm gonna try. I know you guys are going down to Pack South next month, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Definitely. I'm gonna try. I, I don't have any official like. I'm not doing a panel or anything. I may try to fly down for the day or two just to just to a because I, I want to go to South and b. I, by then I'm gonna be craving a lot of sunshine. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna try to do, and of course I'll be at Pax East because that's that's my home. So. Oh yeah, I love Pax East. That's my. It's probably my favorite show. I love yeah, all I think the Pax so. East is right then. Pax South. It's not as many people. It's like fifty thousand versus seventy thousand, so right. it's actually still a lot of people. But it's less booths, right? Uh, but it becomes a good thing because people spend more time in each booth. You know, yeah. they're not like rushed to like, oh man, I got to run through this booth so I can see the next one. Yeah, it's so also everybody's awesome. there, everybody's happy. It's an awesome show. And I'm looking forward. I want to check out PAX Australia maybe next year. Ah, I want to do that one year too. I've never we been. have our Australian counterparts over there. Normally, yeah, right. We have a big Origin PC booth there from our our team over there. Yeah, that's that's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. All right, what are we looking at here? I'm just looking at some of the questions as well, because I'm gonna I'm gonna have to duck out in a few minutes because I'm supposed to go to a meeting that I'm running a little late to. Sure, sure. Meeting schmeeting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do you think water cooling is just overkill or is it a necessity? Again, it really depends on what you're doing. Um, for someone like like Major Nelson who said he's gonna be streaming and gaming at the same time, it's ideal. Because doing two things at once on a PC will definitely get the CPU hotter than normal. And, and really, uh, heating the CPU, it's not that it would overheat with a stock cooler, but a lot of the heat kind of just degrades the lifespan of it, which is not yeah. something you want to do. You want to extend the life of your PC as long as possible, so having it nice and cool all times is really just a plus. Very yeah, be cool. You, if you're comparing a stock air cooler versus a liquid cooler, that's not a fair comparison. So if you compare a high-performance air cooler versus a, the liquid cooler, then it's more of a fair comparison. <coughs> and at that point, the price is actually pretty much the same. Yeah. So on our website, we just default to liquid on everything because why give people a high-performance air cooler if they're not going to gain anything? And it's, it's also like, quieter yeah. as well. Much quieter, yeah. exactly. Which is great, as to your point, which is going to be great for when I'm streaming because you don't want to have this thing over the corner. <laughs> yep. How are you guys doing on this great day? Glad that Christmas is in three days. Very glad. Have you guys had more orders than normally due to Christmas? Of course. It was a, a killer winter season. Man, it's us. been crazy since Black Friday, and it's still going crazy. So, yeah. Good. How extreme can you get custom paint jobs on Origin PCs? Whatever you want, we will put on there for you. If I want to put a favorite character on the side of my case, absolutely. We'd love to do a Master Chief custom painted PC for you. Guns up or guns down? <laughs> guns up. Guns up. <laughs> Should we talk about the, the one that came in recently? Do you know about that? The paint job order? No, no. Oh, wow. There's a custom paint job. I don't know if it's going through or not, but a customer requested something that's so detailed that when we gave it to our airbrush team, you know, they, they calculate everything based on time and, you know, its skill and how long it's going to take them, but mostly how long it's going to take them. So they did this, this one piece of artwork and they said, if you want this amount of detail, it's going to take me like weeks to do this. And it's going to be six thousand dollar paint job. <laughs> Just the paint. That's Just more the paint. than the PC. And we way. and we're like, well, that's what the customer wants. Well, we'll tell them, you know, if you want to downgrade it, well, we can do it much cheaper. But if this is what you want, this is how much it will cost. And I believe the customer said, go for it. Wow, that's I a piece of artwork. On and you. then I heard that the person does like Destiny um, uh, gold farming. Uh huh. That's like their that's their their main business. <laughs> that's his business. So Destiny Gold Farming is doing good nowadays. I guess. <laughs> I guess so this person so. is making so much money. They're ordering a custom PC with a six thousand dollar paint job, with I think his character on the side, his uh, Destiny character. Awesome. Nice. Yeah. I'm jealous. <coughs> that's that's extraordinary. This Major Nelson guy, man. Guns Re up. Remaster Modern Warfare 2. Origin PC, remaster Modern Warfare 2. Okay, <laughs> we'll get right on that. Yeah, we'll get right on it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that, that's, that's, your that's your competency right there, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, exactly. 
Uh, we did work with Activision for Call of Duty Ghosts. <laughs> so that was cool. Yep. Call of Duty is definitely still one of your top games, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, oh, the yeah. Call of Duty franchise. I mean, it's funny because if you look at the how things worked, Xbox 360 and Call of Duty, they kind of went like this together. Yeah, it was amazing. Um, mm-hmm. And Xbox, um, you know, and certainly Call of Duty is a fantastic global franchise um, and is hu- huge on Xbox. So oh, yeah. Modern Warfare uh, on the 360 was just that like, was the. That was it. it, it? Yeah, yeah, that, that, was, that was it for me. There's certain, you know, you look back and there's certain games that were like really that people remember. Of course, the original Halo on the original Xbox, mm-hmm. um, Call of Duty there. So there's there's certain games that you remember that were just so seminal, like the original Crackdown, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Remember that? Haven't we talked about that? So there's, there's just games that you have such crisp memories of that are just they're just def- like I'll, I'll never forget for me the original Bioshock. Ugh. Yeah, you're that playing that game. and what's yep. going on and and you know would you kindly it's just completely it just blew me away yep totally uh, call of duty i knew was was huge when i had friends of mine who weren't gamers right they're like oh i'm buying an xbox 360 i need to play call of duty i'm like yeah. what really <laughs> like and i see them even stuck on it more than i was back then. i'm like yeah. geez i can't believe where this is going and since then gaming yeah. is just taken off and gone And then the commercials started coming out with commercials with mega yeah. actors and actresses yeah, and the yeah. commercials were like, what? We're <laughs> a bunch of gamer geeks and look at these awesome actors and actresses in our commercials. <laughs> it's amazing. Haven't heard of Boom in a while. Boom! Did you guys hear that Tim the Tatman is tying the knot? I did. Congrats to him. I congratulated oh, right. him through Twitter. Yeah, he's Congrats to him. It's yeah. exciting stuff. Soak him. That's that old one. Hey, does the 17-inch SLX actually have red lights on the cover? It does. You can actually change the lights to whatever color you want. That's customizable lighting. Yep. The SLX. Have you seen that, uh, Larry? We have a we have a laptop called the Origin. uh, Sorry, the Eon 17 SLX, and this laptop has a desktop CPU in it. Yep. And it has a desktop graphics card in a laptop. I I did see that, and I was like, insane. That's that that, that's crazy. I just how how much is that way? I think uh, it well, it depends. If yeah. you have the desktop GPU in it, it can get pretty heavy. I think it's uh, 15, maybe? No, I think it's 9.5. 9.5 pounds, and and yeah. And, and then another 9.5 yeah. for the power supply? Yeah, then the power right. brick is a whole other story. <laughs> we don't talk about the power brick. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, when you have The it, good news is it's one power brick, because we had a, a similar model last generation, and it had so powerful, you had to have two power bricks. So now we're down back to one power brick. But we call those desktop replacements. Right, exactly. (laughs) We call those desktop replacements so people can... It's really meant to have set up at your house somewhere. Right. Easy to move, obviously, but not really to take around with you. It's insane. I can't... I still... I don't... I can't believe you have desktop graphics, desktop CPU in a laptop. It's crazy. I can't wait to see where... Seeing AOM776 asked me if I have a name for the new PC. You know what? I do not, and I am taking suggestions. There we go. Suggest in chat. So some suggest name. to chat, or if after I leave, you know, talk, hit me up on Twitter at Major Nelson. How about guns up? Guns up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go play on my guns up. What? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing fancy. 1080p is just fine. Oh, you're the one asking about the build earlier. Uh, <clears throat> for just League and World of Warcraft, it's not gonna be a super expensive PC. You can probably get by with like a uh, 960 or 970. Um, maybe an i5 and you'd be good to go. 16 gigabyte, eight, eight to 16 gigabytes of RAM. Guns yeah, up, cheese. Sub one thousand dollars, in other words. Yeah. The green beast, someone said. The master chief saw that coming. <laughs> Somebody wants to know how good the Xbox Elite one, the Xbox yep. One controller is. I think it's great, um, but you know, it's and I think you guys will appreciate this. It's one of those things where, you, in, until you get your hands on it, you don't realize how good it feels. So you were saying that it's usable for both the Xbox and the PC. How does it connect to the PC? Uh, just USB. So USB. we've got two, two ways you can do it. You can either do it through the micro USB, mm-hmm. or we have actually a dongle, a yeah, wireless dongle, dongle yeah, and that, you, that <laughs> uh, when we shipped it earlier this year, it was only working with Windows 10. The team has since gone back and done some work and got it working with Windows 7 and Windows 8. Oh, so it's a, you can do wireless dongle, and it will connect up to eight controllers. Oh, eight. Wow. I'm using yeah. it at home for four controllers. I didn't know I could yeah. do eight. Yeah, I could do eight. I love those four-player co-op games. Right? Master uh, Master Nelson's God Box. <laughs> I like that. The I Beast Schrodinger's Frag Box. I like that, too. 
Uh, Plastic Maniac, yeah, I know a lot of people are looking for the Elite controller. Uh, it is sold out frequently, and I know they're getting we're getting we're getting them sent over as quickly as we can. So if you keep an eye on Twitter, I let you know when they come back in stock. I like that name, The Void. The Void. <laughs> That's exciting though if they're sold out everywhere, man. I mean, yeah, it's it's we knew we knew when we announced it at uh, E3 this year, and people were getting their hands on. We're like, this is gonna be big. <laughs> what is your opinion on the GTX 960 with SLI or Crossfire? Should I get a 970 instead? Um, I always say go for a single more powerful card if if yep. you're if it's a choice, just because a lot of games that come out aren't immediately compatible with SLI. Yep. Um, I definitely go with the 970. Yep. Hey QZ, been some time. I still have my i7 4970. Was just wondering when I should upgrade. What's the difference performance-wise between an i5 and a newer gen and an i7 counterpart? Would I be fine with an i5 over an i7 5000 series or 6000? Um, <coughs> if you have the ability to go to the next generation, do it because you can even upgrade that i5 to the newest i7 down the line. But in some cases, the i7, like the 4790, I believe, is more powerful than. The i5 6400, let's say. So it really depends on what you're doing. I do some some careful research on that. Oh, so they have an i7 now. Yeah, I would stick with i7. Yeah. Because if you go to i5, don't you lose hyperthreading? You do. You yeah. lose hyperthreading, which is not good. The booty clapper. I don't think you'd want to name that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. New mobo or new GPU? Go for a new GPU, man. If you want to see an immediate immediate difference. What temp question. Yeah, that's a, that temperature question is interesting. Yeah. What temps do you think this build's GPU will be at under load? Um, well, our cases are built very much for uh, for solid airflow. Um, under load, Jimmy would probably Jimmy test these all the time. Jimmy, what do you think a Titan X under load? I'm talking about 100%. Titan X 100% load. Probably looking at 75 to 80 degrees Celsius. Seventy-five to eighty degrees Celsius at a hundred percent, which is something you'll never see when you're just gaming. On you'll never see that. You'll never see that <laughs> when you're gaming normally. So let's say you're playing just as like let's say you're playing Battlefront at four K. You'll probably see it peak at like sixty, sixty-five. Is that right, Jimmy? You think? Yeah, I'd say that's about right. Plenty of headroom. What do you expect Phil Spencer will think of your PC? I think he's going to say, I'm going to email Kevin and tell him I want one. <laughs> Out of office, sorry. <laughs> Out of office. At CES, can't talk. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Does Jimmy go through emotional breakdowns every day because he has to build such amazing PCs and then has to watch them get taken away from him? <laughs> sounds like, sounds like Jimmy that. needs some therapy. We, have, we do. We have special therapy for that. <laughs> That was actually, when I first started working yeah. here. That was always really depressing for me when I'd build a, finish building a PC and have to move it on. I'm like, oh, no, goodbye. Yeah. It's working here in this industry is strange because we always feel like, personally, our systems at home are outdated. Because no matter right. what we have, it's the day I take it home, I know about something else coming out. Well, yeah. this is yeah. coming in this, next month this is coming out. And, and we get to see it here out. and play with it here and test That's it here. So it's like, true. oh, so much better than what I have. It's not fair. Yeah. The Hulk. That's a good one. The Hulk is a good one. The Black oh, Hole. That's a good one, yeah. My first PC build last year was an i7-4790K, Asus ROG Maximus, two EVGA GTX 980s, 16 gigabytes of Corsair. Wow, man, that's a heck of a first build. I have a 980 Ti and it's lovely. One of my favorite cards. Major's Icebox. <laughs> I like that. The cooler. The cooler. For either you, Kevin, Kuzi, or Jimmy, the Eon 15X processor is socketed, right? Yes, it is. Socketed. Yes, you can upgrade it yourself. Yep. Very easy, too. Currently Major's Death Star. Major's Death Star. That's a good one. Or the weapon. The weapon. Prime the weapon. I'm going to play Witcher. <laughs> moon? That is no moon. <laughs> so without without spoiling anything, what did you think of the new Star Wars? I I loved it. I mean, it's it's growing up with Star Wars. I, I read an interesting article earlier today, and this is not really a spoiler because everyone's seen this. Uh -oh. But somebody <laughs> was talking about you know we all saw that trailer in October mm -hmm. with Harrison Ford, Chewie were home. Mm -hmm. So what a lot of people 
they were looking at that and people went back so wait a minute the reason he says that is because we're home meaning the series is back to what it should be right it was a very powerful statement when you look at it that way but to your point about the film i really really enjoyed the movie it kind of checked a lot of boxes for me and just felt it just felt right it did you know, it's like it's like there's not there's there's very limited CG. There's real sets, and that to me, you can really feel that from the performances of the individuals. Absolutely. Um, Go, going back to what you were saying, making a series right. The very first line in the movie is, "It's time to make things right." Right. Which I saw it the second time, and I'm like, "Oh man, yeah. That's, yeah, that's heavy." A- that's heavy. Yeah. Oh. That's so awesome. yeah, I, I, I enjoyed it, and I think you know, obviously, a lot of people enjoy. I, I, I don't know how I did this, guys. I actually went into the theater spoiler free. Yeah. Like compl- yeah. like I, I signed off social media and I went in oh, and I was too. just like and I like to do the same thing with games and movies. I don't want spoilers. Let yeah. me let me enjoy it at my own pace and the way the storyteller wants to tell me the story. And that's what I did and I just I just enjoyed it beyond belief. Yeah, when I know I'm gonna watch a movie or play a game or something, when I know already I'm sold on it. I stop watching everything. I'm like, I don't want to see any more commercials, any more nothing. I'm good. I'm going to watch yeah, it. I'm already in. You've got my money. I'm going to play it, and I want to make my own decision. That's the way I felt about that. I do that with usually with all the James Bond films because I'm a huge Bond fan. Yeah. Um, last one. Eh. Um, but it was uh, it, with with this Star Wars film, I was I was simply blown away. And that was actually, you know, I talked about this on Twitter. Is I had the opportunity to interview Anthony Daniels a few years ago with they see three PO. And when, oh, awesome. when we were doing when we were doing the X the R two D two Xbox, uh, we had the C three PO controller. He was in here. It was actually in this conference room, and we had a great chat about it. And I was I was like I was like out of my mind. I was shaking in my chair. I was fanboying out that I was talking to him. And he was telling me all these great stories about you know shooting the three films and so forth. It was a lot of fun. Oh, Loved it. Been amazing. Did he did he come back for this one? Was he C three PO again? He, he is. Um, uh, he said that he did work on it, and he uh, I don't know if he just did the voice. He did actually because that he was telling me the story about how physically demanding that outfit is. You know his mm-hmm. costume. Um, so I don't know if he did that, but I know that he did the voice. That's so awesome how they were able to get everyone back. Well, I'm sure JJ went to them and said, "Here's the script and what's going on," and, and people were like, "Yeah,", is yeah. It kind of, just everything everything lined up perfectly. For that film. He did such a great job, such a great, I, and I knew it from the start because he did such a great job on the Star Trek films. Right. He sold yep. me on Star Trek. I was like, yep. "This this film has to be good. There's in no way can it fail it." I got teary eyed at moments. Like I really felt right. Star Wars again, yeah. and they right. left you wanting more at the end too. Oh yeah, perfect. <laughs> yep. Did a great job on it. It should work. Well, you know what, guys? I actually have to bolt now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to sign off. So I'm gonna let you guys continue the build. Jimmy, thank you. Jimmy uh, says thanks, Jimmy. Oh, hey, you're welcome, Major. <laughs> Keep going, guys. Have fun. I wanna I wanna thank you guys at Origin PC. It's it's a pleasure working with you. I wanna wish you and everybody watching a happy holiday, and uh, we will talk again real soon. All right. Likewise. Thank Likewise. you so much. Happy holidays. Much thanks for stopping by. Bye. So that was awesome. Oh yeah. That was really cool. He was there just chilling. The gigantic uh, Master, Master Chief, Chief in the background. In the background. I'm like, oh, he's got the little Master Chief back there. This big. It's so huge. we're back at it, guys. Um, remember, if you, if you guys have suggestions for his build, he said tweet at him. The Prime Radiant. The yeah, Prime start tweeting. I like him. someone said the Death Box one. Let's <laughs> tweet and tag him and us, and then we'll, we'll go score crazy with it. Yeah, should be fun. That was really exciting, man. I went from a, a child watching all his vlog videos on Xbox Live to actually talking with him. Yep. It's dream come true. <laughs> you went from following his Twitter to following his sentence. <laughs> sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I have put in a request for a sponsorship but haven't got back to me. Give it some time, Echo. Um, like I said, we get tons, tons, tons of requests daily. I try to get back to everyone, but it takes a little bit of time. And right now we're really, really swamped with the holidays, so things are going to be a little bit slow, but I promise you will, you will get a response. Yep. P2C2. <laughs> Our volume went down. Is it back up? Volume went way down. Try to adjust that. Uh, Is that better? That should be better. Take it now. You're not going to miss my questions, right? I know you're busy. No, we should be good here. I made it. What's up, Osirian? Good to see you, buddy. What up, Osirian? Did we miss somebody's questions? Legendary Vigilante? Yeah, if we missed your questions, I'm sorry, man. I I was enthralled. Just shoot it over again. Yeah. Shoot the questions over again. Jimmy, where are we at with the build, bud? 
It's on the, uh, the wiring now. Oh, wow. And everything together. Cool. Should I buy the Millennium or go for the Evo? It's two very different things. <laughs> do you want a desktop or do you want a thin and light laptop? The Millennium Falcon, of course. Yeah. <laughs> the Millennium Falcon. It's been over two months. I'm sorry, Echo. It's it, like I said, it takes a lot of time. Oh, Major that knows. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Possibilities to acquire such a monster machine for international customers. We ship worldwide. So anyone's free to order one of our PCs. Worldwide. Or WTs, you guys have talked about the more deluxe packages. Do you have anything offer on us folks who haven't got a huge budget? Um, it, you can definitely take a look. Uh, we have some low start at prices. If you look at our our Omega. Kronos or our Omega. Omega. <coughs> I suggest the Genesis with their custom water cooling. That's what Osirian himself got. I think the Omega starts at sub 1000. Yep. Um, I'm currently gaming on an MSI GT 780 DXR PC, but it's over five years old now. It's starting to lag a lot, even though I dust it out once a month. I really need a normal PC. Maybe it is time for an upgrade, bud. You guys have talked about more deluxe. Oh, yeah, I answered that already. What games would you still like to see with backwards compatibility support on Xbox? What games are you most excited to play again? Um, honestly, man, I'm not. I'm not one for the whole backwards compatibility thing. Uh. If I could think, what was one of my favorite Xbox games? The thing is, like, a lot of my favorite Xbox games have had prequels come out already that are way better. Yeah, I know. So it's I know really hard for me to think of. a bunch of games I can't think of right now. Maybe the old, like, and I, I'm not even going to say it because I know they've talked about this over and over again. We're already talking Halo has already been redone, Crackdown is coming out new, Fable's coming out new. Yep. SSC Samsung Evo or the Intel 750, both great. Uh, the Intel 750 is a PCIe SSD, right? Is that the one you're talking about? So it's going to take a PCIe slot, but it is tons faster. But the, really, you only see the difference when you're doing hard drive extensive things. Just as a standard user, you're not going to see much of a difference between them. You guys do awesome work. Thanks for that. I hope you have an awesome holiday season. Take care. La later, Plastic. Thank you so much for that. Thank you for the kind words. What would you suggest for me looking at the builds at your side at the moment, but I'm curious if you can do anything cheaper than that. Uh, start with the Omega ones. Check those out. Did you guys list the PC build specs already? We did, but we're more than happy to do it again. Just type in exclamation point build like I just did if you're ever curious to see it. <coughs> can you guys build a PS4 and Xbox One into a computer? I will buy it immediately. I mean... We can. We can. <laughs> That'll, that'll be the next big thing. But then it's hard, because then neither of those companies will promote it, right? Right. <laughs> Technically, yeah. I have seen Might as well put a, you know, a Wii U in there also. Yeah, we've, we all here at the office went to go see it together. It was our holiday party, which was awesome. That jerk. No spoilers in chat. I'm sure there's people that haven't seen it yet. Please, guys. Oh, somebody putting spoilers? Yeah. Oh, they deleted it? I deleted it, yeah. Oh, you deleted it. Damn, you're quick on the draw. Yeah, I'm gonna look at mods. Uh, Bruja, we ship worldwide. So any PC that you guys want, you can get it shipped worldwide, whatever country. And just go, uh, you can either contact sales at originpc.com or just check out our website. I got a challenge for you all if you want to hear it. Sure thing, Evil. What do you got for us? Evil has a challenge for us? Oh. Do I have to build blindfolded? <clears throat> What's up? I ship build blindfolded. Build, build blindfolded. <laughs> build blindfolded. Star Wars is sold out here for the holidays, at least. It's amazing. That movie... Where is here? Where are you... Who said that? Wiki Wild. That movie, you know, they, they have... Wiki Wild, where are you from? That Star Wars is sold out everywhere. You know they air it, like, at 6, six in the morning. They start, like, sh do showings already. Oh. It's crazy. I know that you can watch all seven of them starting at, like, 4 in the morning. Some theaters did that. Yep. Start at 4 in the morning, you watch all seven movies back to back to back to back to back. I wish you guys still did the big O. I liked looking at the pictures and reviews of those monsters. I haven't seen Star Wars yet. I didn't know it would be so dangerous uh, to be. I'm so sorry, Mel. <laughs> I tried to be quicker. Apparently, did you know that a lot of uh, streamers got it ruined for them because people were putting spoilers as their names and then subscribing to their channel, so oh, it popped up on the sucks. screen and ruined uh, it not only for them, but everyone in chat that was in there, yeah. too. Wiki Wilds in Calgary. Man, Calgary Star Wars is sold out. 
Where it's funny when I was streaming uh, back in the day when I streamed, I was streaming uh, Bioshock Infinite. Yeah. And some jerk came into my stream and chatted and told me the freaking ending, yeah, of, the ending of the game. It still blew my mind. <laughs> the ending was so good that even though I knew it was hap gonna happen, it still blew my mind. Sold out everywhere here too. I know Bess is in Canada. Oh, it wasn't sold out everywhere here. I mean, you can get some seats like at bad times and in the front bad of the theater. times and right in the front. Yeah. <laughs> that happened to Tim the Tapman. Someone subbed as a spoiler. Yep, happened to Tim. Happened to a bunch of people. It's rough. Yeah, when you're a streamer, it's like... Yeah. How is the EVJ motherboards comparable to Asus or MSI? All good. Really just depends on what you're in, you're in the mood for. They each have their different perks. Yeah, we've, we've used a lot of the EVJ motherboards and never had any issues. Always good performance. We love those boards. They look good. Origin PC, I might work for you in the future if I find no job or anything <laughs> since I'm a fan of computers. <laughs> but all depends how life throws my way. Well, good luck, man. Okay. I don't know if you want to send that exact message to HR. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you might want to tell HR, like, I want to work for you guys. Yeah, not if I get no other job. So the music we can hear and the stream can hear? Yeah. Okay. DJ Koozie. Yeah, if not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't normally have this music playing. The Koozie Hour. Your Amazon package is shipped, yay! Last minute Christmas gifts. Yeah, they're all going to be getting here on the 24th. Speaking of which, will you be here on the 24th? I will be here on the 24th, yes Excellent. I will. Excellent. When are your new laptop designs generally announced? Uh, we just announced all the newest ones, so we're not going to have anything new for a while. I like so, the design of the current SLX and want to know if I have enough time to buy one before it changes. Absolutely. Yeah, the SLX was just announced. It's not changing. Yeah. It's not changing anytime soon. And it is a monster. At CES, we were doing some announcements, but they're not going to be SLX related. We'll have the SLX there, actually, because it's still brand new. Mm -hmm. So we'll have that there in the suite. I have a Noctua NHD14, and it's cooling an i5-4690K. Would the Noctua keep my CPU cool if I OC it to 4.5? Absolutely, man. Noctua is great. Oh, who's he talking tech? Koozie Tech Talk. Koozie Talk Tech real good. <laughs> <laughs> Any opinion on the Acer Predator X34 monitor? Seriously thinking of picking one up. Acer makes great monitors. Man. I have an Acer monitor. I love it. <coughs> it's 4K G-Sync. Wow, some jerk Lighter. whispered me spoilers. Wow, Mel. That's why I have all my whispers turned off. I only have whispers turned on for people that I, that I follow. Makes me sad. <coughs> that sucks, Mel. Sorry. Sorry, Mel. I know. I feel responsible. I really hope they're fake spoilers. It's nice to know you guys at Origin are, are honest and down to earth. We're all just we're just gamers, man. We're not nothing different about us than anybody else. We're just like you guys. Yeah, maybe they're fake spoilers. Yeah, it could possibly be fake spoilers. It was funny. I remember someone saying because people were posting spoilers on Twitter and stuff, just post random, random things on Twitter yeah. so no one can really know which one's spoiler or which one's fake. Yoda dies. <laughs> Yoda <laughs> dies. Again. Spoiler. What's the, your opinion on the EVGA GeForce GTX 960? I love EVGA cards because they're so close to the actual stock cards, which I love. Evga. Nerds. We oh, are. Yeah. Koozie Talking Tech, what is this? Also, challenge is the Big O 3.0 with all the game consoles from Atari, Atari 2600 to the current gen PCs. Wait, what? That's a challenge. Build a Big O with all the all oh. the consoles in it. Yeah, we'll get back to you <laughs> when that's done, Evil. <laughs> It'll be the biggest Big O ever. We'll let you know when that's done. I'm going to ask again about the integrated soundboard. Is that okay? Of course. <laughs> I'm no. sorry. Yeah, obviously boring. What is your question about the integrated soundboard? Um, for this one, it was Realtek, if that's what you were asking. What's yeah. up, Nev? How you doing? Hey, guys. Evga. This is the reason why I forced myself in that crowded theater so no one could spoil crap for me. I remember when the Harry Potter book Half-Blood Prince came out, the Snape killed Dumbledore. I got on WoW and the first thing in trade chat was Snape killed Dumbledore. I'm so happy I read the book. Hey, you just spoiled it for me. I didn't know I know. That. I didn't know that either. I didn't I know that. Jerk. 
Luckily, I'm not into Harry Potter because I actually didn't okay. know that, but I don't know. Um, <laughs> Jake, our sales guy, was saying his mom's a huge Star Wars fan. Like, huge, huge. She went dressed up as a Jedi and everything to go see the movie with him. And he went with her. She took a bathroom break right during a pivotal moment. And there was a little girl in the stall crying about what happened and wow. said it out loud. Oh my God. Wow. And she came back to the theater, like, just fuming. Like, ah, oh, I can't believe it. Wow. Well, she missed it anyways because she was in the bathroom. She came back <laughs> just in time to see that part. Oh, so somebody was there crying from another theater. Yeah, right. That's awful. Jeez. Darth Vader is also Luke Skywalker's father. Gah! <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sure in reality I'm thinking maybe if I get funds laying around to build an R2-D2 and wheel it one day, that'd be awesome. <coughs> What's up, Kuzi? What's up, Story? How you doing, man? Is that Jake from State Farm? That's how he came dressed for Halloween. How many watts on a power supply do you think it would take to put a GTX 960 and a GTX 660 in SLI? Well, first thing, don't do that. What? <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Trick question. Yeah. Just just have that GTX 960 in there. The answer is the North Train will... <laughs> get there 45 we'll get there minutes first. earlier. Yes, we'll get there 45 minutes earlier. She sounds hideous. Thinking about building my own PC, what do you think is the best price for a good one? But keep in mind, it would be my first build. Um, depend it, that all depends on your budget. Um, maybe if it's your per first PC ever. Figure out your budget <coughs> first. Yeah, figure out your budget first, and then you can know which way to go. Yeah, Who should so I talk to options. you about putting the Xbox One and PS4 into a computer? I'm willing to pay for it. <coughs> um, email the sales team. Yeah, email the sales team, man. They'll have fun with that. <laughs> They'll come to us all like, you told people in yeah, chat that exactly. we could do this. We yeah, send we you can. the sales. Sales comes back to us. Send you, sends them, sends you back to us. Do you guys have a recommendation for a good gaming keyboard? My budget is around 150 Well, let me introduce you to our Origin uh, Chroma. Let me introduce you. This is actually the Black Widow Ultimate, not the Chroma, but... Allow myself to introduce my... Very good if, if you like uh, mechanical keyboards. <laughs> Corsair also makes some awesome keyboards I'd look into. <coughs> Honestly, SLI is not worth it. And if you wonder about how to build your PC, the Linus Tech Tips Forum is always a good way to go. Absolutely. We love yep. Linus. Good luck out. Logitech Orion Spark, that's a good uh, keyboard too. I'm emailing sales right now. Awesome. Whoops. That's really nice cable <laughs> management. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Jimmy. Jimmy can take the Thank you. Thanks for that. <laughs> How are we doing on time? Oh, good. You got about 40 minutes, Jimmy. Oh, beautiful. <coughs> First Gen i7 kind of sucks. Nah, nah, it's not horrible. Oh, I remembered. I saw your new. I remember. I saw your new SLX. It says 16 gigabytes or VRAM, two times 980 Ti. How can it be added? Oh, and this laptop is on my list. It's actually what you can do with the SLX is either you can do dual 980 M's, or you can do a single desktop 980. Right. The dual 980 M's get you to 16 gigs. Oh, we hit 25,000 followers. Thank you guys so much. It's huge. Yes. Thank you all for following. Much love. 25 G's. Do you guys have building requests for Red Team? What is Red Team? Not too sure. Red Team is AMD. Ah. <coughs> um, yeah, we build with AMD, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Why would anyone think we won't, don't build with AMD? I have no idea why they would think that. <laughs> But no, AMD is offered on our website now, and we, we build them all the time. We actually have a deal going on. Yeah, well, they, they did a giveaway with one of our PCs on their stream. I yeah, they did a giveaway on their stream. They're going to have our PCs at a upcoming trade shows. And if you buy a PC of ours right now with an AMD graphics card, you get a free Star Wars Battlefront. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Am I the only one who wants to see a live build of Origin PC's custom liquid cooling? It's definitely in our plans. Uh, maybe when we're in our new, our new studios. The new gig. Uh, uh, we haven't done that before? No. Oh, no, we've no, never we done a live build of a cryo? No. That should be uh, something we do when we figure that out. Yep. Uh, we'll figure that out. When we have the flying drone cameras and the. <laughs> and the oh, <laughs> 
<coughs> oh yeah, we can. I can probably. And we have the jacuzzi in the back. <laughs> if it's a space, if it's a space like this, I can set up the camera as like a permanent thing, you know. Have one on the roof. Overhead down. cam. What's the most expensive PC build and tell the specs? Well, there's someone recently that <coughs> spent about sixteen thousand dollars just on the hard drives. What? Just on hard drives? He does oh. 4K video editing. So it was a bunch of the four terabyte SSDs, the new ones. Wow. Or two terabyte SSDs, I'm not too sure. Wow. But a bunch of them. Don't worry, guys. I'm back from lunch. Welcome back. Boot up. You missed us signing your crate. We signed it live on stream. Yeah. <coughs> Somebody's asking why only one GPU. So for Major Nelson's build, we went with one Titan X. Uh, we were going to go with SLI of a lower GPU, but one Titan X will run anything out there and uh, can always upgrade in the future. So he's good with one Titan X. And I think, um, like I was saying earlier, there's a lot of games, especially with the new trend of all these uh, early access games that aren't compatible with SLI just yet. So a lot of people that have SLI end up disabling it to play a lot of the games that they love. <coughs> what is life slash cry? Don't worry, we'll, we'll have it on VOD. Looking for a good monitor, what can you guys suggest that will provide 1080p without breaking the bank? Uh, look at the Acer and Asus monitors. If you're not if you're not going for G-Sync or like high uh, like 144 hertz or anything like that, you can get a nice 60 hertz 1080p. I'd go for an LED. Um, Kuz above or me again to ask? Let me see. One sec. That's what I asked. I thought two 980Ms are still eight, but SLI. So now it can be added. The VRAM is this correct? Yes, of course. Nice. Was impossible. I'm not too, I don't quite understand the question, but yeah, you can SLI 2980Ms. So DirectX 12 will take advantage of all 16 gigs VRAM. Right. But DX11 only recognizes eight. So most games, eight gigabytes, but right. DX12 games will know, will recognize that 16 gigs. You and Mist Origin PC and Major Nelson hashtag get pants joke. <laughs> that was funny. I got pants. That's cool that he's, he's played Ark and stuff. I'm excited to meet him at PAX. Oh, you didn't meet him at PAX party? No, no I've never, never met him. Yeah, he's really cool. <laughs> Mel's a mod for like every channel. Yo, Rouse Dex, I'm experienced. She says Mel modding better than me. She's, oh. she's a mod for every single channel. Every channel? Yeah, <laughs> almost. Every channel that I go to. <coughs> she's like uh, Tom from MySpace, who's right. friends with everyone. I'm also working PAX South, so excited. Sweet, where are you working? What booth? What are you doing? Oh, really? That's awesome. Tell me. Do tell. Thank you so much for the Christmas cards, by the way. Oh, yes, thank you. Very sweet of you. Thank you for the Christmas card. I like when you grilled... Um, Larry, you're like, so anything else you can tell us about Xbox? <laughs> anything else you can tell us about Xbox? Anything else? <laughs> I want more. He's like, no, I can't tell you anything else. About no secrets. Well, I'm going to take off. Back right. to back to emails. Back to the old emails. Thank you, Koozie. No problem. Thank you. Thank you guys for having me. <laughs> Adios. Ordinary we'll see you at the next CEO. live build. And uh, I guess once Jimmy finishes the build, he'll come chat a little bit. Mm -hmm. Sit on this side, so I'll do my chair here. Yeah, sounds good. All right, happy holidays. I'm gonna go ahead and take this badass chair now. <laughs> Cause this thing is so sweet! Ah! Put that off to the side over there. Oh, hopefully I don't unplug anything by doing that. There we go. If the, piece, if the stream powers down... <coughs> oh yeah, this is stuff. This is a, this is what dreams are made of. Ah! Who's that? Right now, man. 
What's up? I'll trade you right now. This is what dreams are made of, boys and girls. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Buy my future boss, Kevin. 5.5 thousand? Yeah, this PC is about 5,500. Kuzi, if you wanted to run a PC as a heater, obviously not recommended. How many GPUs would it have to string together to get it toasty? <laughs> Um, really, you can do it with. Uh, here's a trick to get your seat to your GPU really hot. <coughs> you can even do it with one GPU. Just run heaven. It's a benchmark. Oh, oh, oh! This camera's available for hand cam now, Jim. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll take that. I'll, uh... Let me see if I can turn it on real quick. Hand cam. Boom. Boom. Yeah, beautiful. Hand cam's good. Hand cam's good. Show off what's going on over there so far. So here's where I'm Let me make right it a little now. bit bigger. Hold on. And it's seen. There we go. Go at it, buddy boy. All right. So we're almost done with cable management. Um, I'm just running the uh, the SATA power for the uh, the CD drive. And after that, I mean, we'll be ready to uh, to start uh, buttoning everything up. Just get the last few fans in, uh, get the frostbite installed, that's what needs to go in, and once that's done, we'll be ready to power it on. Ready to power it on! Really exciting stuff. Yeah, that looks good. With all our studio equipment in the background. Yeah. Dude, this is awesome. Thanks, Echo! It looks so sexy. Nice cable management, Jimmy. Thank you. Thank you for can you enlighten me please above? Interesting. At least in a PC so far, I know if you put two video boards, the VRAM doesn't add. But here's a new SLX. It does. Yes, yes, it does add. That's all Windows 10 or DX12. <coughs> That's going to make that available to you. How did you come to work at Origin? Man, good good question. And I will tell you my story. I think I've shared it before, but it's always a good, good story. Um, <coughs> Richard, our president, is actually... Um, one of the co-founders, he's the president of Origin PC. His wife and I went to high school together. And I've always been into PC gaming. It's something I always wanted to do. I was going to school for uh, information technologies, which is IT. Um, I saw her posting stuff about Origin PC on Facebook. And I messaged her. I'm like, I had no idea you were into PC gaming. Like, when did this happen? And she messaged me back like, oh, my husband Richard is actually one of the founders of Origin PC. And right there, I knew, <laughs> this is my chance to strike, boys! So I uh, I sent him a message immediately, like, oh man, you know, I if this is too much to ask, I'm sorry, but I was wondering if I can go in and apply, and I gave him my whole, like, this is what I do, I'm so passionate about it. And there's some people that know me, there's a lot of people in chat here that have known me for a bit now, and have heard me talk about PC and PC gaming. When I speak about something that I'm passionate about, the passion flows from my mouth like no other. And he saw it. He saw the passion in me immediately. He's like, yeah, absolutely. Please come in and apply. So I did. I applied. And um, I, I knocked the interview out of the park. And a few weeks later, I was working for Origin PC. I started off in assembly and moved up to integration and then quality assurance. And then now I'm here in marketing. I guess it wasn't that long of a story, but there you go. That was it. <laughs> I want an Origin PC Polo. We actually just got these made. Pretty sweet. I, I dig them. The material's really nice on them, too. Oh, my God. Because of the OS is the best news I've heard computer-related. Thank you. No problem, Legendary. My pleasure, man. And Koozie has been the best thing to happen to Origin. No, that's so sweet. Thank you. Origin PC, I just ordered something for Kevin. Question is, what would you like, Koozie? Oh, man. I don't know. Evil? Don't put me on the spot like that. I don't want any. You don't need to get me anything, man. Just be here and support us day in and day out. How high of OpenGL will this PC run? Uh, you know the answer to that, Jimmy? Because I don't. Um, in, um, I hear the Walter Cronkite of Origin. I heard it with Major Nielsen. <laughs> Go on. No, I was asking. Um, I don't understand the question. 
Like, How uh, high of OpenGL will the open PC be? Is, uh, the benchmark score. Oh, okay. But I'm wondering if he's, uh, if he's referring to it from Cinebench 11 or Cinebench 15. Uh, yeah, it depends on which which benchmark you're running, and he'll be able to give you a, give you, uh, an estimate. Yeah, give you a rough estimate. I currently have a GeForce GTX 745 in my PC, and it keeps crashing and not recovering, which leads to my PC crashing. Any clues how to fix this? Um, I check if there's any dust on it. Clean the card out really uh, really well. Make sure your drivers are up to date. That's the only recommendation I have. It might be just that it's an old card. Will a 10-year-old bottle of whiskey do? I'm not a big drinker, but I'll, I'll take it just to have it. It's really nice to show off. All I want, all I want for Christmas, honestly, is one of these sweet gaming chairs. And I think, I think that a family member of mine hinted that they got me one. So hopefully, these things are just the best, man. Gaming at home in one of these, jeez. <laughs> I want, I've been wanting a DX Racer so bad. When's the Pascal GPU coming out? I'm not too sure, but I'm so excited about it. Even if we did know, we probably wouldn't be allowed to say. <laughs> That's true. But we're not even... We haven't even gotten anything to test, so it's still, probably still pretty far off. Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a great podcast. This is Callum from England. This but I'm so excited. It's supposed to be, like, the fastest GPU we've ever seen, am I right? That's what they say. I'm really looking forward to uh, like crazy, crazy fast, like ten times faster than anything out now. But if you don't have one, let me know. I'll see what I can do, man. Nah, dude, that's way too much. I would never ask you to spend that much money on me. Kuz, I just said something nice about Jimmy. Don't miss it, man. Oh, what chair is that? Oh, don't forget Jimmy, the legendary builder. That's what he said. This is the uh, need for seat, I believe. Were you still in college when you applied? I was. I was. Actually, no, I had finished by that point. But that doesn't mean that you need to have a college degree to, to start off here. I went into an entry-level position. I believe they start you off degree or not. <coughs> they start you off at entry-level because we really we're more interested in, in your passion about the industry and how passionate you are about PCs in general. You can come in here with fancy degrees. It won't make a lick of a difference. We need passion, passionate people. What's the email address for PC requests? Are you talking about sponsorship PCs? That would be marketing at originpc.com. What type of drill in that? Oh, here we go. Shout out to our man at Craftsman. Craftsman <laughs> drills. <coughs> Tweet out to Craftsman. Show off the Craftsman drill real quick, Jimmy, on the camera. Someone snapshot this and then tweet it out. Oh, show the other way. Craftsman. The Craftsman side. And then tweet out to Craftsman if they have a Twitter. <laughs> Hold on, let me point to it. I'm just gonna do two thumbs up. Snapshot, baby! Alright, hopefully someone got that. I'm gonna tweet out to Craftsman. I'll be awesome. You're welcome, Jimmy. Need for seat nice on my list among with the SLX. What did you major in? I majored in information technologies. But there's so many different things you can major in to work for us. There's marketing, there's uh, computer engineering information technologies we have a whole sales team we have web development all sorts of different stuff guns up baby so Jimmy any AIO incidents likely tonight or are you in professional mode all in, all in quotes all in quotes how many subscribers do I need for sponsorship we have a bunch of different levels of sponsorship we don't have an exact number it just has to make sense for us a uh, good way of looking, look at the, some of the people that we've sponsored in the past. Tim the Tapman, Tally, Bajira, guys like that. And it'll give you kind of a rough estimate of what we look for. Time for another cooler to blow up. No, no. That wasn't Jimmy's fault, by the way, guys. It's just, uh, sometimes it happens. Faulty coolers are faulty coolers. It is love getting at me. <laughs> How many viewers do we have? Counter saying zero. Uh, 200 right now, it seems. We had 300 earlier, but I think once Major Nelson left, they're like, eh, we don't want to listen to this koozie guy just chat it up. We got Mario there. We know Jimmy and his luck with him. 
Recently, ammunition, eat my diction, Jericho, correct. Jobless Garrett, level cap, just to name a few. Eloheim, let's not forget Eloheim, even though he's been a uh, MIA lately. Hope everything's going well for him. Jason from customer service said you can't build the PS4 and Xbox into PC. That's very sad news. I don't think we have a Jason. <laughs> Are you sure you contacted the right Origin PC? I would email sales at originpc.com. Is that a crack in X61 he's putting in? No, it's an Origin Frostbite 360 he's putting in. I don't know what I'm going to go home and play tonight. I'm thinking, uh... I'm thinking Black Desert Online. Have you played it yet? I have not it's played in beta it. right now. It's really good, man. Black Desert Online. Oh, that's the MMO you were talking about, right? Yeah. I think you should have put two Titans in level caps build. It was dope. He, he requested one. He's on the same boat where one card beats two. It doesn't obviously beat it in benchmarks and stuff, but... Rick Lord is the king. What's up, Rick Lord? How you doing, man? I'm about to get the brand new Hammerhead Pro, but I need some solution. Earwax removal for the headphones. No, any coos or Jimmy? I don't, man. Some earwax? Some Black Jimmy. Desert Beta is over December 22nd. Get in there. Well, it's done today. Oh, no! Is it over by the time I get home? Oh, that sucks. Man, Mel, I can't thank you enough for hooking me up with that key. That game is a blast. I'm enjoying it. Coos, check your Twitter. I will, man. Guys, feel free to follow me on Twitter. That's at Kuziel. I'd be more than happy to answer your guys' questions. You can tweet at me with random stuff. I'm also obviously posting random things all the time and promoting cool things and talking about when I stream. I know I haven't streamed in a while for those who know me, and I'm sorry. But I do, uh, I do stream normally. Um, I just, just play video games and talk so you can see me and my bad gaming skills. Using the best. Craftsman, baby! Oh man, did you tweet at Craftsman? <laughs> That's us. Awesome. We tweeted at Craftsman. Dusty. <laughs> Can I have one of the gaming PCs used for Origin, P for Origin PC TV? Unfortunately, we're still using them. <laughs> I'm good, man, trying to work for you guys, but y'all hire. Y'all right, hire a big homie. Hell, hell yeah, we hire anybody, man. Try for the next beta, Adrian. If you're a streamer, sign up for the Evolve Terminal. What's that, Mel? <coughs> I mean, there's some sort of solution that melts earwax from earbuds. Uh, I don't really use earbuds all that much. That's why I don't know of any. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure at all. I'd probably just say use some alcohol. Right? I think the last time Koozie streamed was like three months ago. I, w I have now. It wasn't three months ago. I definitely streamed this month or last month at one point. Um, I think I didn't, I know I didn't stream Thanksgiving and I haven't streamed any Thursday since, since then. Thanksgiving was our, uh, it was Thanksgiving, I was out with the family. Then the following Thursday was our, our holiday party, so I couldn't stream then. This Thursday is the 24th, so I'm not going to be able to stream this Thursday either. I, I did, I was in the hospital for a really bad stomach virus, I'm better now, but I was out of commission for quite some time then too. What's the best gaming PC for a budget of 1200 something that can play Black Ops 3 and 1080p 60fps? Um, I'd look into a 970, maybe an i5. Should do it or at least get you close. Hello, Monster Cat fam. My name is Devin from the US, and my Evolve, the PR firm, has a system through which you can apply for keys of games they represent. <laughs> You have to show your credentials and such, though. Cool. I'm going to look into that. Just followed you, Kuziel, on Twitter. Thanks, drinking. Much appreciated. You look so comfy, Kuziel. What's up, Lala? Long time no see. I am extremely comfortable. This chair is amazing. I've slowed down since I sat in this chair. I'm like, whoa. What about a custom Minecraft PC? I think we've done something like that in the past. I know we did a custom Borderlands PC. Yep, we did a custom Borderlands PC. 
Do you know anything about gaming laptops? I know everything about gaming laptops. Is that a DX racer? This is a need for seat. Very similar. There's a DX racer or two in the office somewhere. What's the best headset for PC or Xbox? Uh, I love these Astros. I love Razer makes awesome headsets. Corsair makes awesome headsets. I'd look into all those. Really depends on what you're into. Steel Series also makes great headsets. Uh, Mel, do you mind DMing me that link so I don't forget it or else I'm going to lose it? That Evolve link. HyperX. Oh, HyperX. How can I forget the HyperX Cloud 2s? Duh. Those are like some of the best headsets on the market right now. Gotta go. Happy holidays, guys. You too, Echo. Thanks for coming by. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Are you in the same room? Yeah, we're in the same room. Check this out. High five. <laughs> I don't know if they can see that. <laughs> Maybe they heard the slap though. <laughs> Vardolf. Rain snacks. <laughs> Can you make a replica of the Origin PC TV but with a 6700K? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Hey Kuz, so last time to be sure because of the Windows 10 DX12, now the VRAM it adds on multiple video boards, even though it wasn't before possible? Correct. In fact, I believe TX12 is supposed to take advantage of any and every GPU you have in your system. So theoretically, it could take advantage of, let's say you have a GTX 970 in there, and then your onboard graphics and even if you had a completely different card, theoretically it should take advantage of all three, SLI or not. Am I right? I think that's what they were saying. I wish I could... I'm pretty sure from what I read, that's what DX12 is supposed to do. So people, so people will get huge performance increases just because it's going to also take advantage of your onboard graphics, which is huge. What is one of the best gaming laptops you know? I need some suggestions. Man, well, I guess it's kind of biased of me to say, but our laptops are freaking amazing. The Eon 17 SLX is one of the best gaming laptops I've ever seen, whether I worked here or not. I would say that, like, honestly. It's got, you can either put, it's got a desktop CPU in it, so you can put one of the new Skylake, the 6700Ks in there. You can do dual 980Ms or you can do a single desktop 980 in the laptop like that's a gaming PC portable it's amazing <coughs> what case is that that's our origin PC millennium case it's our own case is there origin PC VPS or is it more computers you do uh, not too sure what's a VPS do you know that acronym Totally off topic, but what would you think about a proper PC Fable 4 returning to the original Fables feel on town? I would love it, man. The original Fables was awesome. They were. Um, I think it was Fable 2, where you can do your own housing and stuff. Was it that one or was it Fable 3, where you had the dog? Um, that was I, one of my favorite I'm Fables. I'm pretty sure that was Fable 3, but I know they introduced um, an element like that in Fable 2. Virtual private servers. Oh, I see. Oh. Yeah. I mean, you can create your own virtual private server on any of our. Yeah, computers. that's just a, that's just any PC in general. If um, if you were looking to specifically do that though, <laughs> you're better off looking at our uh, our performance, our not performance, our professional line. Where's Major Nelson? He left. He was here for the first hour. But I'll have uh, I'm gonna upload this video to YouTube probably either tomorrow or over the weekend. Um, and you'll be able to watch it here on Twitch as well. Jimmy, can I pay you to build my Evo live in my house? <laughs> Your Evo? Well, yeah. I'll do house yeah. calls. <laughs> I'll do house calls. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Uh, man, I'm starving. And I had such a big lunch, too. Where'd you go for lunch today? I went to Bonefish. Yeah, man, Bonefish there. Grill. I know. I know. What's a uh, Fud Ruckus? Fud Ruckus? Nice burgers. It's awesome. 
How old were both of you when you built your first PC? Uh, I was 16 or 17 when I built my first one. Yeah, and I was about the, about the same. Yeah. About 17. And it was funny too, because... Actually, maybe even younger, man. I might have been even younger. I got into PC building when I first learned that you could water cool PCs. And when I looked up water cool PCs, the first thing I saw was an Origin Big O. Yeah. And that's what really got me into it. I was like, man, you could do this? Dude, it's got an Xbox in it. It's got an what's Xbox up? in it? <laughs> what's up, Flash Over? How you doing, bud? I want some Chipotle. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, I want to go with Chipotle right now. Should do a show on how to manage all the wires. I mean, that's kind of what we do here. We don't go too into it, but for the most part, it's there. Oh, let's see. I can see all the names of the people who signed the paperwork, but please tell me Jimmy didn't build my Eon 15X. I think he might have. Either Jimmy or, or James. Please tell him, tell me that I didn't. Yeah, I think he's just joking. <laughs> he did one of those stupid faces. How was the birthday, man? Birthday was great, dude. I went to go see Star Wars for a second time. It was on Sunday. I turned uh, 32. 32 years young. Jimmy, can I become your apprentice and you pass your PC building ways to me and I can carry on in your legacy? I'd love to. I will start <laughs> to I'll create my own uh, my own PC building um, temple. It'd be like, uh, like the, the Jedi Avalon. temple, but it'll yeah. be the PC building temple. The Jedi temple of building PCs. Alright, so Sweet, kind of I didn't miss it. No, you just made it, man. Welcome, Bushi. Or did you see you only had me by two years? Uh-huh. Hey-o! hey -o. All right, make that sucker green and pop the panels on that bad boy and turn the Sounds lights off. Good. Let's just let this thing run its run through its cycles. Yeah, it's going to have to post, right? Yeah. Probably shut off real quick and then go. Yeah, it might shut off a couple times. <clears throat> 32, it's all downhill from there. I know, man. Who's he's old? There you go. Sweet! Right. Power up! And that's the cool thing about this board, too. You go in with the hand cam real quick. Right there, that Q code reader actually tells you the, uh, the temperature of the CPU. Sweet. So we're looking at a cool 30 degrees Celsius right now. 30 degrees, baby! Alright, make it green. I think there's a remote somewhere. Here. You guys got the 6 terabyte SSD yet? I think we do, man. Hit the lights, Jimmy boy! There it is! There it is! It's beautiful! Let me get my, my camera out of the way. 
gorgeous. Oh, she's a beaut. She's a beaut. Solid. It's a good thing my zipper wasn't down in the exchange. Hey guys, Dr. Steven here from the Netherlands. I want to say a thanks to everybody that's been supporting the channel over the past years. My Don't favorite to sign the on 25 the oh, has to be signed by Project 46. You gotta get a because silver, the voice sounds like silver, an angel. Uh, Sharpie. Uh, See that now. Can you go grab one real quick? Yeah. I think Erica might have one. I will pay you double for Major Nelson's PC to come to me and then go to him. No! You can't. Tell Kevin to come sign it too. Man, that's a pretty PC, guys. I'm jealous. Let me take a picture of it for you. Before the stream ends, I have a question. Is there a TPM chip? Uh, not too sure. I'll give, give me a second, I'll find out for you. Would you say you're doing your dream job or is there something else you would rather do? I'm definitely doing my dream job, man. There's no place I'd rather be. And I've done it all, man. I've worked in restaurants, I've worked at banks, I've worked in sales, and now I, I, I do partner relationships, I do sponsorships, I stream. All for this amazing, amazing PC company. Couldn't be happier. It's time to sign? My name is Jacob Bruce, and I am from Jeez, Martin, Colorado. Feel? My name is Chris from yeah, Los Angeles, oh, Texas. Texas. Hey guys, this is Leah from the UK. My name Damn. is John, and I'm from <laughs> Oregon. My favorite track from O25 would have to be Home by Laszlo featuring Richard Caddick. So we're signing this side, or no, we're signing inside, inside the door. It's on the inside of the door here. Yeah. 
Have you done construction? I haven't done construction, no. Props to you, man. Thank you, Aquatic. Have you worked in warehouse refurbing computers and peripherals? That I have not done either. What's the best gaming chair? Man, there's so many good ones out there. Look into Need for Seat, look into DX Racer. Hard to pick when there's so many. That is a really nice PC case. Yeah, it is beautiful, actually. It is gorgeous. Sadly, this marks the end of today's journey. Cool. However, we couldn't have done any of this without you. Let's call upon the family. It gives cool me beans, man. man. Just see all these people, yeah, ignore man. their differences, and just enjoy music. So far, my journey with Monster Cat has been mind blowing, and I'm excited to step into the future. Monster Cat means everything to me. It's got me through good and bad times. Will always have a special place in my heart. It has one of the best and kindest communities around. It's where I can listen to the music I love by the people I love. And that's something you really don't find with other record labels. Hey, or in PC, when you were younger, did you brush, how did you brush up on your computer knowledge? Like, how did you learn? Ah, uh, just trial and error, man. Um, I was lucky to have a lot of friends that were really into PC, so I learned a lot from them, older friends. Um, and reading up on it. As soon as the internet became available, that's kind of all I did, was read up on games and PC technology. It's helped me stay confident. It was my life. I was consumed by it. There he is. Yeah. Sign in the inside of the, the, inside of the, the door. Sign in drive. I get on the other side, it's probably easier. I am really grateful for that. Keep it up, fam. I'm glad to be a part of the family. This one of the best families I've ever been in. It is a community full of talented and jovial individuals. Monster Cast, Jamie, as it has to so many others. We help each other, we are very caring for each other. My life would have been totally different. And that's about our time. Guys, thank you so much much for tuning in tonight it was a pleasure hanging out with each and every one of you i can't thank you guys enough for com coming in um just a few quick things remember 100 percent of our proceeds on this channel go directly to saint jude's whether it be from subscriptions or your donations you're never required to do so but know that it goes towards a good cause if you do uh thank you guys again so much for hanging out with us this evening big thanks to major nelson uh big thanks to origin pc ceo happy holidays to each and every one of you take care of yourselves take care of your families much love. Mwah. Kisses. Kisses.